Hello, people of Grace. For our Pastoral Connect last week, and then again in our worship service, we talked about Timothy being the real deal. Timothy was such an authentic person that Paul says in Philippians 2, 19, that I hope in the Lord Jesus to send Timothy to you soon, that I may be cheered by news of you, that I may be encouraged of good courage, strengthened, uplifted. And Paul in order to be uplifted in that way, is expressing a hope, a hope that Timothy would be able to go to the Philippians and give a good report back to Paul. But the Bible also tells us in Proverbs that hope deferred makes the heart sick. And many of us get trapped in grief or sorrow um, or discouragement or depression because of hope deferred. This world is full of Hopes deferred, hopes that don't come to pass. Yet, hope is one of the three key virtues, faith, hope, and love. So, Paul is expressing hope here, hope that he doesn't know will come to pass or not. It could be deferred. But what we see in the New Testament writers especially is that whatever hope they're expressing is ultimately tied to the great hope of God's promise. And here... Peter can speak to us from 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 19, where he says, Therefore, preparing your minds for action and being sober-minded, set your hope fully on the grace that will be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. One of the things that this life can do to us, whether we want to admit it or not, is challenge us with what are we putting our hope fully on? And do all of our other hopes and dreams kind of hang on that hope? For the follower of Jesus, for a child of light, the hope has to be fully placed on the revelation of Jesus Christ and seeing him face to face. All of other hopes have to really hang on that great hope. That's what I call hope's position our hope's posture. And I think you see in 1 Peter 1.19, uh, three things that help us stay hopeful. Number one, we have to stay emotionally agile, emotionally flexible. When Paul says preparing your minds for actions, that word picture is, you know, bringing up the hem of your tunic or your garment so that you're ready to move quickly. In other words, we can't let ourselves get too settled in this world or too attached to anything in this world because this world and everybody and everything we know in it ultimately passes away. But the souls of those who are children of light go on forever. So again, we have to tie our hope to the revelation of Jesus Christ and stay very agile and flexible about everything else. To do that, we have to be sober-minded. We have to think clearly about this world, about it being a vapor, about our own mortality, about a lot of things that we really just don't want to think about because we pin a lot of our hopes on things of this world. And we don't really want to admit to ourselves how transient and vaporous and unsubstantial the things of this world are. And that sets us up for deferred hope. So we have to think clearly, and even though it's sober and it's uh, sad even that this world is under a curse and transitory and temporary, it is what ultimately allows us to stay emotionally agile and to be thinking clearly when we accept those truths. And so that challenges us not just to stay agile and to think clearly, but to consider the true goal, which is the grace that we brought to the children of light at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Our hope really needs to be tied to seeing Jesus face to face. That ultimately is what cheers us so that when we see things happen in this life that are testimonies of Christ's triumph, like Timothy maybe successfully getting to the Philippians and getting back, we can rejoice with those. When we face setbacks, as we do in this life, Paul says to the Thessalonians that he wanted to visit the Thessalonians, but Satan stopped him. We recognize that the setbacks are temporary when we are aligned with God's kingdom, when we're looking forward to seeing Jesus. That cheers us, that encourages us, 
as John says, that hope purifies us and keeps us from being contaminated and weighed down by the dross of this world. Be encouraged, be heavenly minded, stay emotionally agile, think clearly about this transitory world, keep your eyes fixed on the true goal of hope, which is seeing God face to face and waiting on the day when he will wipe every tear from our eyes. Be hopeful, be blessed, be encouraged. Have a great evening.